Aloha, welcome back to DeFi Tactics. Remember, this is not financial advice. Do not make any financial decisions based on my word alone. Always do your own research. With that said, today we're gonna discuss how to import the new tokens that we need. So XFi, we're talking SFIN, all the new liquidity pool tokens. So the Canary Dollar, XFi, Songbird, XFi liquidity pool tokens. We're gonna to talk about how to import those tokens into MetaMask so we can see those on our actual MetaMask interface. Let's get to it. <music> So scrolling down at the bottom of our MetaMask, we can see that I already actually imported the XFi token, but I'm going to show how we do that with the SFIN and the two liquidity pool tokens. So we're going to click on the bottom, we're going to click import token, and that'll bring us to this little section where we've got three fields, the token contract address, the token symbol, and the token decimal. Now for all of these, the token decimal is gonna be 18 and the token symbol will be based on what different token we're inputting. However, when we input the contract address, this should all auto-populate. So we're gonna do SFIN for an example. So on the right-hand side, I'm going to highlight the token address. I'm going to copy this. And then on the token contract address field in MetaMask, I'm going to paste that address. As you can see, it auto-populated as SFIN with a token decimal of 18. So we're gonna click the Add Custom Token and then Import Tokens. And that is how we import a custom token, or in this case, SFIN, or the different liquidity pool tokens that we need to import. So clicking the Back button, we can go back to the main account section and scrolling down, we can see that the SFIN has been added. We can now do that for the remaining two liquidity pool tokens, the Canary Dollar XFi and the Songbird XFi. So I'm gonna do that quickly. Let's do the Canary Dollar XFi liquidity pool token. We'll copy that and then we will paste that. It should automatically populate. The token symbol for this is Flare X or FLRX. Again, 18 is the token decimal. We'll add the custom token and we'll import that token. Click on the back here and now scroll down. We can see that the Flare or FLRX, which is the Canary Dollar X file liquidity pool token, has populated. So let's do this one more time for the Songbird X file liquidity pool token. Highlight, copy, and paste. Now, as you can see, it auto-populated. It also auto-populated as FLRX. Even though these are two different liquidity pool tokens, they will have the same token symbol or FLRX. These are liquidity pool tokens. However, they're different as you'll see here shortly once I click add custom token and then import token and then click back. If we scroll onto the bottom, we now have two different FLRX tokens in our MetaMask. This is because even though they have the same, you know, ticker symbol as in FLRX, they're actually two different liquidity pool tokens. One is the Canary Dollar XFi and the other is the Songbird XFi. So this was just a quick video to show how to import these different tokens. I will go ahead and I will put these different contract addresses in the description of this video. If you got anything out of it, I'd appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button. Also, go ahead and feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below. I'm also going to include a link to an uncensored Telegram group chat. This is where different community members can help out each other as far as asking questions and answering questions. That's a great resource, so I'm going to leave that link in the description of this video as well. As always, it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. We'll catch you next time on DeFi Tactics. If these token, so that's a great resource. I'll again.